another what the truck episode this time craig sean they're gonna show us their bump side yeah so this is uh my 1971 f100 um this is mater core mater so we just got to dino's get down last night late uh it's friday saturday it's saturday today but friday a week ago this had a different engine in it and so we had just pulled this motor out pulled the whole bottom end apart rebuilt sean you look at you like what do i do with my hands bro my hands. What do I do with my hands? <laughs> we rebuilt the whole motor and then uh, kind of punched it out to a little 306, put it all back in, broke the motor in yesterday morning, put it on a trailer, and came all the way out here. Um, so How far of a ride was it for you? Uh, it was about six hours. Yeah, about six hour drive or so. Yeah, yeah San Diego, California to Phoenix. So. so you swapped another motor in there, right? You didn't like it's what? A, it's the same block crank and rods, but everything else has been changed. Wait, yeah, so in a... how short or long a time did you rebuild this motor? Then? So I took the motor out Saturday. Like a month the... ago, Saturday? No, like last last, last Saturday. Saturday. So what? one seven days ago. Yeah. So yeah. yet a week ago from yesterday, last the fr last Friday, uh, this had a different engine. Was running with a different engine. And you have all this recorder, right? So if my guys want to check it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's all, your all uh, what's your handle? Give them a shout out. Uh, my my YouTube channel with this is all this is all on is the Craig 909. Uh, that's where we do all the YouTube stuff with this. There will be a series of pulling the engine out of the truck, apart, machining, rebuilding the engine, and reinstalling it, breaking it in, and coming to this show. Uh, so yeah, but a week ago we had a different engine. I pulled it out Saturday, Sunday, pulled the motor apart. Monday went to the machine shop, got cam bearings honed out, uh, polished crank, rods, pistons, all that stuff. And then Tuesday, or Wednesday, yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Sean and I put the motor together. Thursday we stabbed it in the truck. Friday morning we broke it in. Uh, broke the cam in and got it all running good and then put it on the trailer and head straight here. Dang. So we got here late over here. Hey, dude, so, that's crazy. It counts for Never something. But knocked yeah, it, it does, out. It does have a pretty stout 306 in it now. It's got over 10 to 1 now. Uh, it's got a pretty stout comp cap shaft in it, so it sounds pretty good. Uh, and, uh, negative 5 cc dome top yeah, pistons. Got, we put in it yeah. quite a lot with yeah, it's got, for sure. It's got so. 58 cc cylinder heads on it and then it has a, a dome top Keith Black piston, so it, it's really tight tolerance, so it's got a pretty good amount of compression in it. Nice. But, well, let's uh, talk about the rest of the truck. Tell yeah. me. So, I love the wheels. What's uh? Yeah, so these are 15 by 10, four inch backspace, uh, bark, we have steel wheels. These are kind of like the just classic D windows. Uh, these are their trucker wheel. You can get them on some of these. are like the cheap, kind of like $60, $80 wheel. But I mean, they look great. And then we got a pinstriping kit and this is actually tape. And we got a little, there's a little tool that grabs the edge of the wheel and we hand striped them kind of to give it that like the actual NASCAR vibe uh, to give it the, the yellow stripe on it. And then uh, those are Cooper, uh, yeah, yeah, Cooper Cobra 275, 60s in the front and 295, 50 in the back. Um, and then the wheels are square set up. So 15 by 10 and all four corners. Dude, the but, patina uh, on this thing's killer. Thank you, yeah. This is the original paint for the most part. I think it's been repainted maybe once, but this used to have a great green, green tailgate when I bought it, and then I traded the guy my green tailgate and paid him $200 just so I get this one matched. Oh, dude, I never so, would've known if it's perfect. Yeah, exactly, yeah. so. Um, but yeah, limo tenant, uh, behind the motor, it's got a Tremec 3550 five-speed behind it. Behind that is a full torque custom drive shaft with the big bearing 31 spline nine inch with four times in it right now. And then, uh, Kind of walk our way over here. We lowered it, we axle flipped the rear end, so we flipped the leaf springs. I C notched the frame, and then uh, it's leaf under now. So, and then I cut a coil and a half out of the front suspension, so I kind of did a little hundred dollar three day, lowered it for good guys two years ago, just in three days, took it all apart, cut it, flipped it, lowered it, notched it, cut the springs, and it was done. Shortened the drive shaft ourselves, <coughs> and then it kind of worked its way inside. Uh, this kind of it's not, you know, it's not crazy clean. I did a Mustang bucket seat conversion. So those are the factory bucket seats you can get in Rangers and camper specials. Is that, did you use the Copper State brackets or? No, I actually, I ended up finding uh, another 70, no, 69 F250 camper special, or no, it was a Ranger. It was a Ranger and it had yeah. the actual Mustang seats in it. And I bought, I paid 300 bucks for the truck. It was a piece of junk, but I wanted just the brackets and the seats out of it. So I got the seats and the brackets and then I uh, put those in and they bolted right in. So that was like a biggest thing I wanted to do because I'm pretty tall, so the bench kind of gets you kind of up. So these kind of, you sit lower and further back, which is a lot nicer. Um, and it works really well with the with the, the Tremec right there. It has a Stita Triax short shifter in it. And then all the stock Z-Bar stuff. I got a set of auto meter gauges in there out of another truck that I had. And uh, it all kind of comes together pretty nice. Newer dash. And then we have a custom headliner that we built. I brought this to one of my buddy's wrap shops. And we oh, did, dang. We did a battle-worn flag on it. So I got a 
clear piece of polycarbonate, cut it to fit the old headliner as a template, took that down to have a have it wrapped and he printed me, basically found an image of an old worn, like battle worn, uh, like World War II flag and then he printed it out and wrapped it onto the headliner and then it, then it went right in. So that worked really well. But, uh, what kind of plans do you have for this? So as of right now, we just got the 306 built for it. So we're probably gonna do some kingpins and disc brakes for it. And we might just kind of leave it at that for a little while. Um, but I do have another frame for it. It's Crown Vic uh, swapped in the front. It's another 70, 1970 short bed frame rail. And then I put a Crown Victoria front clip on it. So it just got the front suspension on that. And then it has a Explorer 8.8 .8 rear end. And then I did a seven inch step notch I designed myself in the back. And then I did a set, uh, I worked closely with Alden American and we designed a coilover uh, conversion kit for the front. Um, so it'll be coilovers all the way around, four link, panhard bar, it'll be kind of be my autocross chassis. So nice. when the time comes and I have other projects done, we'll pull the body off of this one, set it on the new one, and it'll kind of go into this like fully caged stroker motor autocross truck. So it'll be pretty sweet. Pretty killer. Well, what are your uh, your social handles? So, Drop them. Uh, my social handle, all my Instagram, Snapchat, uh, YouTube, yeah. all those social medias are the Craig 909. That's where you can see all the stuff on this. Uh, and then my brand, which is coming out soon, we can show right here. I got the, the 909 Speed Company merchandise. You can see I got the bag right here. The, the stickers coming out as well. Dope. So, yeah, really awesome. You know, massive thank you to, to Solomon for inviting me out here. You know, totally worth the drive, totally worth the work. Oh, yeah, and awesome. we, we can say we took the whole motor apart, rebuilt it, put it back in, and got it running in a week. So, that's well, pretty I, good. I, yeah. Dude, thanks for coming, yeah. dude. Yeah, anytime, man. Anytime. Absolutely. So, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, drop them below. Make sure that you check out Craig's channel, like, subscribe to the video. See you later.